In the previous videos, we built the first two sections of the UI, which we call the header and pricing section. Now we are going to build out the final section of this UI, and we will call it the feature section. Looking at this design, we can see that the section is made up of an icon with some text. So we need to grab this icon's SVG and copy it. Going into VS Code, we create the components based on the SVG we just copied. So we're going to repeat this process for the rest of the two icons. Now that we've created these three icon components, we need to create a features component. So we go to the components folder and create a new component file called features.csx. From our design, we see that the features are horizontally stacked. This tells us that we use an H stack as well as an icon and text component. So let's grab this from Chakra UI. Now there are two props we need. We need an icon prop that will be passed into icon and a children prop that will be rendered between the text component. So we go ahead to destructure these two. Now we need to specify the type of prop icon is. Icon is an element type. So we specify it up here. We also go ahead to pass the props icon and children. Now we go into our design to grab the styles for each of these elements. Awesome. We just completed our feature component. Now we need to create the features component that will be using each of these feature components. Looking at the design, we see that each of the features are horizontally stacked. So we're also going to be using an H stack here. And then we render a feature component we created earlier, passing in the necessary props. The feature component also needs to have an icon. So we import the icon we earlier created. Let's see what we have. This is looking good so far. Let's render the remaining two features. Here's what we have. Looking at this, you can tell there are a few things we need to fix. First, you notice that this section needs to be centered and there's no space between these two. We need to add some padding top between the second section and the third section. Let's go ahead to fix that. We'll wrap a box around the H stack and give this section a maximum width because on larger screens, we need to be able to constrain the width. From our design, the width is 1024 pixels. Now let's add some padding at the top and bottom. We also want to ensure that the text is left aligned and there's a bit of padding between each side of the features. So let's do that here. We go up to our feature and put text align as left. And then we give our H stack a padding of 48 pixels. Now we need to specify the spacing between each feature. From the design, it is 20 pixels, so let's add that. Great, so we've just completed this UI, but you notice that we had coded most of these values, and this is not necessarily a good practice. In the next lesson, you'll learn about the default theme object in Chakra UI and how to use it in our project. Thanks for watching.